Hello everybody and welcome back. It's Miss Young again. Today we're going to be learning about a new kind of art and it is called pop art. Now pop art stands for popular art and it's when you, when an artist takes something from the TV, from things that they see every day, maybe from games that they play, and takes something popular and uses it in their artwork. All right, so uh, here's an example right here of popular culture, right? Pop art, popular culture. This is Marilyn Monroe. She was a very, very famous uh, actress a long time ago. And when the artist that used pop art, his name was Andy Warhol, when he was alive, she was really, really popular. So he used a picture of her in his pop art. So that's a good example of one. Here's another one down at the bottom of this page. And it is by a man named Roy Lichtenstein. And he liked to use um, comic book styles for his artwork, right? So this kind of looks like a page out of a comic book. And, you know, it's really cool because he uses, he uses bright colors. He uses things that are easy to recognize, right? We've got an airplane right here. And he uses these really cool, um, like, words that kind of stand out on the page. These exclamation point words, these statements um, like wham, bam, bang, pop, kaboom. He used all those kinds of words. So here's a couple examples of words that he used. Pow, whoosh, bang, bam, pop, kaboom, smash. He used words like that in his artwork that really popped, right? So pop art is when we see images of people or uh, maybe animals or movies, things that we recognize, things that we see all the time that are really popular. That's when we use those in our artwork. And when we use really bright, bold colors, and sometimes even these exclamation statements like wham, bang, pow, kaboom. Uh, so we're going to be using those in our artwork today. We're going to be doing our own pop art. And to get us started, I've actually gone ahead and drawn out some popular logos that we might see today. Now I'm sure that some of you guys are gonna recognize these. I would hope so because again, pop art, pop stands for popular. So things that we see all the time. All right, so this first one up in the top corner is from a very famous video game called Legend of Zelda. It's a very, very famous symbol that a lot of people who play video games would recognize. So there's one that we could use. You guys don't have to draw these. You're just kind of watching and following along so far, just so we can get an idea of some examples that we could use. So you don't have to draw these, but if you want to practice while you're watching me, you totally can. This should be one that we recognize. It's the little Snapchat ghost logo. So that counts as something popular that we see in our world around us all the time. So you could do the Snapchat logo for your pop art. Batman, right? We all hopefully recognize the Batman symbol. I hope some of us have it, have seen at least one of the Batman movies. Very popular. You see this Batman symbol, this shape of a, a bat, and you instantly know who it's for, who they're talking about. So Batman. This one is from a, a popular movie that just came out not too long ago, Monsters, Inc., right? I know they had the first one. The first movie came out uh, quite a few years ago, and then the second one I know came out recently. So Monsters, Inc., right, is a giant M with an I in the middle. So that's a symbol that a lot of us will recognize if we've seen those movies, very popular. And again, you guys can just watch. You don't have to draw these. But you're welcome to try and practice if you'd like to. You don't have to know how to draw these. This one is the Deathly Hallows. It's a uh, symbol from Harry Potter. If any of you have read those books or seen the movies, you might recognize this symbol. Here's an easy one. A lot of us know what this is. This is just a simple peace symbol. It doesn't have to be from any specific movie or any specific place. It's just something that we've all seen before. A lot of people have a bumper sticker on the back of their car. Some people might 
draw it in the back of their notebook. You know, it's just it's something you see all the time. You might see it on TV. You might see it in a book, in a magazine. It's, you know, they're kind of all over. Uh, this is a popular one. I know a lot of us have been playing this game recently, Among Us. So this is the little, the little guy character that you play as in your, in your Among Us game. Some of you might not recognize it because you haven't played, and that's okay. You don't have to know all of these. But what I want you to kind of get an idea of is what symbol you could, you could draw, you could make. You're going to choose one symbol, just one. I know it's hard to choose, but you're gonna choose just one symbol to use. It doesn't have to be any of these. You can make up your own. But these are just to kind of give you an idea so that you can start thinking about the symbol that, that you wanna use. This is just a power on button. So anytime you turn on a computer, an Xbox, maybe even a phone, um, you know, you turn on a I don't know, a Game Boy, a Nintendo Switch, a, a lot of a lot of electronics, any electronic really is going to have a power symbol. So there's one. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be from a game or a movie or a video, you know, it can just be something that you see all the time. Here's another one, Superman. I know he's had a lot of different symbols over the years. It's always changing. So if you have a different Superman symbol and you wanted to use that, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the way that this one is. But these are just to give you an idea of what you're gonna be starting your art project with today, is you're gonna be choosing a symbol and drawing that symbol in your pop art. Superman, there we go. Nike, always a popular one. We see that on almost all of their clothes, on their shoes. We see it on TV all the time, anytime they have one of their TV ads running. So it doesn't, you know, it could be a clothing symbol, just like that. Facebook, right? Almost everybody seems to have a Facebook nowadays, so that's very, very popular. And I messed up a little bit. That's okay. No big deal. These are just for practice. Okay. And last but certainly not least, the Apple symbol. A lot of us have an iPad, an iPhone. You know, maybe you have a Mac and they always have this Apple symbol with a little bite taken out of it on their electronics. So there we go. These are just a couple of examples of some popular icons, some popular symbols that you might see nowadays. Again, you get to choose your own symbol. You want to you don't get to make one up. You need to copy a symbol that you that everyone would know. It's supposed to be a popular symbol. So this isn't you making up your own that's unique to you. This is you finding a symbol somewhere in the world. Maybe it's the McDonald's symbol, maybe it's the Starbucks symbol. It it could be anything, but it has to be something that's popular that everyone would recognize, or at least almost everyone. So, We've done our practice with our symbols. Next thing we're gonna do is when we, we have, step one would be to choose a symbol. Okay, so we have that, ignore that. That's a copy just in case I needed it. Step one is to choose a symbol. Step two is going to be to choose a, um, a design to go around your symbol. Okay, so these are just a couple of examples. You could have like a big splat, you could have a cloud, this one's more like, it sounds, looks like somebody's shouting. Uh, this one looks like maybe like bolts of electricity. You, you get to choose. You can make that one up on your own. You can make it whatever you'd like it to be. But you're going to choose, after you've chosen your symbol, you're going to draw your symbol inside one of these, these kinds of, I don't know what you would call them, but they're kind of just decorations to go around the outside. It makes, it looks like it's coming at you. It looks like it's splattering, it's, it's popping, right? Pop art, get it? Yeah, yeah, okay. So you're gonna choose a symbol. You're gonna choose one of these kinds of things. It doesn't have to be one of these four, but one of these, these kinds of decorations to add. And you're also gonna choose a word, okay? It can be any kind of word that makes that's making a, a sound. So pow, whoosh, bang, bam, pop, kaboom, smash. Any of those will work. If you have your own word that you can come up with, 
you're welcome to use that too. Make, make up your own word. It's up to you. But you want to you wanna come up with a word that makes a sound, that gets your attention, that's, that's loud, that's in your face, you know, like bang or bam or pow. You know, they're, they're loud. They're, they're exclamation points. Don't forget, yeah, we got an exclamation point at the end of each one. So those are the three things that you're going to need to kind of think of for this artwork. A symbol, popular symbol, a exciting decoration, like a splatter of, of something, whether it's a water splat, a bolts of lightning, a cloud, anything like that. And then you're going to choose a word. All right. So first things first, let me get out a blank piece of paper and we can get started. That one has stuff all over it. Let's get a clean piece of paper. First thing you're going to do with your blank piece of paper is write your name. Always, always, always. So we know whose artwork it is. Miss Young. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this paper and you're going to fold it in half. Right? So I'm folding it from the left side over so I have it side to side instead of straight up and down. But either way works. You're going to fold it in half. Just like that. Take your time. Fold that paper. Make sure the crease is, is nice and press down and then unfold. So now we kind of have a book. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it the opposite direction. So if you folded it this way, now you're going to fold it this way. If you folded it this way, then you're just, you're just folding it so that we make four parts. So you're just folding it the opposite direction. So if you folded it long ways, now you're folding it short ways and vice versa. Okay, try your best to make it as, as in half as you can. Line up those edges as best as you can. But it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. If you mess up just a little bit, it's, it's not a big deal. But try to make it as perfect as you can. All right, so now I've split my paper into one, two, three, four sections. All right, and while you guys are, are folding, I'm sure it's going to take you a minute. No big deal. I'm going to keep working so that you guys can see the next step but if you're not done folding you know don't panic yet it's it's okay all right first things first let me get something to put underneath my paper so that my sharpie doesn't get all over the table like last time and what i'm gonna do is where those lines are where those creases are i'm gonna take my pencil marker sharpie whatever you have and i'm going to go right along that line with my sharpie if you don't have a sharpie Pencil or a black marker will work just fine. Try to get as straight as you can, just like that. All right, now we have them. We have them clearly marked. There's no question where each of our boxes are. One, two, three, four boxes. All right, I'm gonna take out my pencil next because you know, just in case. Um, there's a good chance I'm probably going to have to erase a little bit. So I'm going to do pencil first and I'll go over it in Sharpie in a minute. I'm going to choose, oh, that's my copy. Hold on. Let's get the right one out here. There we go. I'm going to choose one of my symbols. Again, you can choose your own symbol as long as it is a popular symbol that everybody would recognize, that, that everyone sees all the time. Okay, I think for mine, I'm going to do... Mm, I think I'm going to do, I'll do the Snapchat ghost. He's, he's pretty cute. So I'm going to do this guy. It's good to have a picture of it nearby so that you can look at it so that, you know, if you need some help drawing it, then it's, it's right there for you to look at. If it helps you too, since we are copying, if you want to trace over it, if you print out a picture or find a picture in a magazine, oopsie, one of my arms is a little, a little too wide. That's okay. That's why we're using pencil. Eh, it'll, it'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect. So if you want to trace an image, you can. That's okay. Um, but, you know, just just do your best to draw one however however you can. He's a little big, but that's okay. You know, it's, it's pop art, so it's going to pop. It's going to be big. And I'm going to do the same thing in this one. So you'll notice I'm leaving these two blank. Putting one symbol here and one symbol here. Try to make them as as similar as possible, as close to the same as you can. 
but it doesn't have to be perfect. Right? If you need some time thinking of a symbol that you want to use, then that's okay. Then you can kind of just watch until you think of one. You know, if I'm starting to go a little too fast for you, it's it's no big deal. You just think about what kind of symbol you want to use, and when you've chosen one, you can start to draw it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these kinds of decorations. Again, one more time, it doesn't have to be one of these four. These are just here if you want to, if you need some help, if you can't think of anything. But I like the cloud one. I'm going to do the cloud. So around my Snapchat ghost, I am now going to draw in a cloud. And it can kind of overlap. The cloud doesn't have to go completely around because my ghost is a little bit big down here. So my, my cloud just kind of goes behind him right here. That's fine. And then you'll notice that on each of my, my splatters that I did, I have two lines. I think that just gives it a little something extra, just makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. So I'm gonna take a second line and I'm gonna go around the outside. Now, if you still haven't chosen an icon, if you're still racking your brain trying to think of one, maybe just leave the middle part blank and you can start doing your splatter around the outside. That way you can always come back in and add your symbol later. There we go, just like that. All right, now I wanna to try to do the same thing on this side, make them as close to the same as I can. Okay. And then I'm looking, I'm looking right here at this one. There we go, just like that. Pretty close, not exact, but as best as I can. And then again, just doing the exact same thing. Going around. like that okay next thing you're gonna do we have we have our two popular symbols now you're gonna choose one of those words again one more time it doesn't have to be one of the words that I have written but if you'd like to use one of these you totally can or make up your own but I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do BAM why not I think that's a good one so I uh, I think I want it to kind of go sideways just to give it something something a little bit more interesting. Now I'm doing block letters. If you don't know how to do block letters, you can just write it really big and then go over it with like a really thick marker. That's totally fine. Or if you think you can do block letters, go for it. Do it. That would be awesome. But it doesn't have to be that way. Whatever you know how to do, just do your best. B, A, M. Now I know I might be going a little bit fast. I've had a lot of practice with these. So you guys take your time. You can go at your own pace. And don't forget that exclamation point. I don't have a lot of room, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller, but it's, it's still there, it's okay. Bam, and if you haven't guessed it already, you're gonna do the same thing right here. So we'll have two Snapchat ghosts or whatever symbol you've chosen and two two of those words. Again, you guys, I've had a lot of practice with these. So if you don't get it perfectly right, it's it's not a big deal. Don't forget to add in the little bubbles. Right there. And right there. Okay. So two Snapchat ghosts, two BAMs. Awesome. Now, I did my little bubble around this one. 
I'm gonna do the same thing here, but I'll let you guys choose if you wanna do a different one. If you if you did the cloud, if you did the bubble, and you wanna do the splat, go for it. If you wanna keep doing the cloud, you can keep doing the cloud. But if you wanna change it to a different one, you totally can. So like, for example, I can come in here and I can do a spiky one. Really makes it look like that, that word is just pow, like right in your face, it really pops. Get it? Because it's pop culture. Haha. <laughs> Just around like that. Awesome. And then don't forget, I like to add that extra little detail by putting two, two lines. Just, just gives it a little something extra. And don't forget, you need to do this one up here too. So same thing. Try to make it as similar as you can. Or if you want to, you could even like hold up another piece of paper to a window and trace it. And then and then copy it and trace it again. You know, however you think it, it'll work for you to try and copy this as close as possible. But it definitely doesn't have to be an exact copy. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just do your best. Awesome, just like that. And last but not least, that second line. Again, if I'm going a little fast for you guys, that's okay. At some point, you can just pause the video when you need it. Or if you're watching this with me during class, just know that I'm gonna pause it when the time is right so that you guys can catch up and have time to work. So if I'm going a little too fast, don't panic. It's okay, it's okay to fall behind. All right, so I have my two words. I have my fancy bam decoration around the outside. I have my two Snapchat ghosts. I know they have a little face. Um, I don't really wanna put the little face cause I'm just looking at the symbol, but if, you, if you're doing the Snapchat ghost and you wanna put his little winky ghost face, that's fine. And then I have this around the outside. Your next step would be to go over it in Sharpie. But for the sake of keeping our video moving along and making sure that I don't go over time, I did another one and already went over it in Sharpie. So here's the one that I did where I I, I did the, the Legend of Zelda uh, Triforce symbol. It's a very popular gaming signal symbol. And I did the the word pop instead of bam. And I went over the whole thing in Sharpie. Okay, so after you've done your pencil, your next step would be to go over it in Sharpie, or if you have a black crayon, a black marker, a black colored pencil, then now, now would be a good time to, to go over it with that. The next step after you have Sharpied everything in is to color, okay? For your coloring, you are gonna choose two colors to go in these. So for instance, um, I chose red and yellow. So you're gonna do red and yellow or, or different colors you get to choose. But I'm, I'm doing red and yellow and red and yellow. And then you're gonna choose two different colors. I chose blue and orange. So blue and orange, blue and orange. Red and yellow, blue and orange, right? So you choose two colors and in the boxes that are across from each other, you do the same color. So let me show you. Here is mine when it is all the way finished. Right, so red and yellow, red and yellow, blue and orange, blue and orange. Right, so colors that pop, colors that are bright. I use, you'll notice I use primary colors and then one secondary color. So our primaries are red and yellow and blue. And then I use one secondary color, orange. So I'm using, I'm using popular colors, colors that you see all the time. So popular symbol. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where did it go? So let me try that again. Popular symbol. Woo! Doesn't help if my camera decides to almost fall over. There we go. Popular symbol. Fancy decoration that makes it pop. Okay. 
word that makes a sound. So the sound is popping, right? So popular symbol. Decoration that pops. Sound that pops. Right? Those are your three things. Symbol. Uh, whatever you want to call this. I just keep calling them decorations. I don't know. Like an accent decoration. I, I don't know. Popular symbol. Popular accent. Popular word. Right? Those are the three things that you need. And then again, once you have those, like I did here, you're going to go over it in Sharpie. And then you're going to color them in. Now, before I let you go, before I finish our video, I want to show you another cool one that I did where you'll notice here I colored in all the white space like we normally do. But it, you know, it was a lot and it took a long time and it got a little bit crazy and a little wild in the middle. So I decided to do something else that's kind of cool. And this is what I'm doing with the younger kiddos, with our kindergartners and first graders. Um, and maybe, maybe even our second graders. I don't know. We'll see. But here's another one that I did where I left some white space. I went around the outside. You'll notice I use our primary colors, red, blue, yellow. I went around the outside. I outlined a few things. And then I took my yellow marker and I made these dots. And I took my red marker and did these stripes. And I thought that this was really, really cool. It kind of made it look more like a comic book, kind of like this artwork by Roy Lichtenstein, where he left some white space. He used primary colors, look red and yellow. Uh, and then he kind of, he kind of has this like, it almost looks like a, like jeans. It has like a, a jean pants texture to it. He's got some other textures kind of in here where he's used a couple different designs. So same thing, when you do yours, if you wanna do it like this, where you leave some of it white, just like Roy Lichtenstein did in his, right? He's got some white space in there. If you wanna use, if you wanna leave some white, and then you wanna use your markers as an outline and then to make kind of some cool dots or stripes to color yours in, I'm totally okay with that because it, it was really common in pop art for there to be white space, so that's totally okay. So either way, I'll let you choose, but your steps are popular symbol, popular accent detail around it, popular word with an accent detail around it, Go over it in Sharpie or black crayon or black marker or whatever you have. Color it in either all the way or you can do a fun fancy coloring kind of like this. So that is your job for today. Those are your steps. If you haven't chosen a symbol yet, totally okay. Now is the time to choose a symbol and then you can work on this for the remainder of our art class and you can finish it throughout the week if you don't have time to finish today. So. Awesome job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.